Hello everyone, my name is Chris. I'm gonna take you through a cardio and strength workout. All you need for today are a couple sets of dumbbells. If you wanna do this without the weights, you can do that as well, especially if you're just starting out and you wanna to get to know the moves and how the body is supposed to feel with all those moves. I'll be going over everything with you. There will be um, a strength move for 45 seconds, which is a compound move, usually upper and lower body, and then a 30 second cardio burst. We're gonna repeat each segment twice and then we move on. So hopefully get out of here between 30, 35, 40 minutes maybe. We are gonna do a warm up and a cool down. So let's get started just with a nice strong body weight warm up, inhaling up, exhaling. Use this time to just take a little inventory of your body, just how are you feeling? Do you feel great? Do you feel a little tired or is something bothering you? Just take a little inventory, pay attention to those cues from your body and use your breath as a barometer today for the intensity. Take those arms at your sides, roll those shoulders back. So if you think about a scale of one to 10 in terms of intensity, most of the workout you're gonna be at six, seven, eight, and some of the cardio intervals may be a little higher, they're shorter, bursts of energy, but you wanna be able to finish strong and really pay attention to your form. Couple more, we're gonna circle those arms nice and big. So let that body sway side to side. Find that core connection here, slight pull in of the abdominals, and we're gonna go the other way. So notice I don't have any music playing today. If you wanna play your own music in the background, feel free. I just feel like it's a little bit of a distraction sometimes. So you can always feel free to do this with your own music. We're gonna go right into some squats here, taking it down and up. So I have a very tiny, tiny toe turnout not a plie, not anything like that, but my knees are going out towards the toes. So just down and up. You can take all these moves at your own pace today. I'm just gonna turn on my tracker. And I would put this in the hit kind of realm, high intensity interval training with strength and cardio. The great thing about this combination is that it keeps your metabolism pumped well beyond the workout. So, Going down and up, I just wanna check time, good. All right, just going down and up here, and now we're gonna add a toe touch. So let's add a toe touch, a hip hinge, and a squat. So don't feel like you have to touch those toes. Let me show you from the side. We're just gonna reach down with a little bit of a bend in the knee, but it's more of a deadlift. It's more to warm up those hamstrings. Couple more of these, and last one. Good. We're going to take the feet together. We're going to go lateral lunge side to side. Bring those arms up in the center. We want to get everything nice and warm today. And also as part of my warm up, I will have you grab one weight as an option. I like to do a few weighted warm up moves before we get into the circuit to just make sure the body is ready to pick up some heavier weights and that all the muscles are nice and warm. Good. Arms go up in the center, really follow through, bending the outside leg, stretching out the inside, the inner thigh. And we're gonna hold the next one out. And we're just gonna stay down here and just go side to side. So you're pushing the hips back, weight is in the heels, toes are facing me, and we're just alternating, pressing down, getting that heart rate up a little bit more. Four, three, Two, let's take another nice big deep breath to the center. And now from this wide position, we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Again, raising that heart rate. Remembering you don't always have to jump to raise that heart rate. You can see I'm already a little breathy here. Good, so we're just getting used to that idea of bringing those hands down because we are gonna be doing some planks today and some burpees. Let's hold the next one down, good. And then we're gonna take it over to one side. We're gonna take a wider stance, stretch out that inner thigh and quarter turn, taking it to a runner stretch. So we're just gonna rock forward and back here and just work through that back leg, that back hip. And then we're gonna take this back knee down and up. So we're gonna go down and up just to get everything nice and warm and then hold that leg straight behind you and rotate, opening up the chest. Let's do a few wrist circles here in both directions. 
pushing through that back heel we'll get that nice calf stretch the front knee is over the heel come down to the center let's work our way over to the other side feeling that nice inner thigh and then hold it over here and then just rock back and forth good just getting used to this motion and then hold and we're going to bring that knee down and up just down and up eyes forward that knee might tap down, it might not, doesn't have to. And then hold that leg straight, push through that heel, and then take that arm up. A few wrist circles here. Remember this hand can be on the ground if you like. And then we're gonna come back to center, and then we're just gonna roll it up. And then let's take a flat back down because it feels great on your spine, roll it up. A few cat and cows here moving and let's just do one more good take a deep breath up hands to your heart we're going to move on grab a sip of water we're going to do those couple of warm-up moves before we get into the circuit okay so this will raise the heart rate up so i'm going to just take one 10 pound weight just one 10 pound weight and we're going to do an alternating queen and press this will help you get your hips a little bit more open and it'll also warm up the core, it'll work the shoulders, it's total body, and it'll elevate the heart rate without jumping. So you're gonna have a wide toe, a wide stance, slight toe turnout. We're gonna squat down, reach, clean it, press it, put it down, stay here, switch hands. And we're just gonna do that alternating. So if this is too low to go with the weight, you can have a little bench in front of you okay or you can come here and transfer that weight if you don't want to go all the way down okay make sure you have a firm grip on that weight we're just going to be here for a little bit so it's more of a clean and press so you're just pretending you're zipping up your coat i'll show you from the side really be methodical about it but there is a little bit of a quickness to this four three two and one good that will help open up those hips a little bit and get that range of motion that we talked about before all right next one we're going to just do a curtsy to a lateral lunge we're going to take the weight in your right hand again just to warm up maybe 30 seconds each side so we're going to go back with a curtsy lunge and then a lateral let's do a bicep curl on the curtsy and a lateral curtsy lunge that leg just goes behind your hips stay facing front now if you want a little help with that maybe hold that elbow or you can hold the weight okay just again warming up inner thigh getting that heart rate up good a few more seconds and we'll go right to the other side and last one good job and bring it to the other side. So we're gonna start with that curtsy curl, curl and press. Again, you can help it along. Remember, we're not really doing heavy weight here. So you could do this with a five, a six, but not your heaviest, heaviest weight. Again, if you're just getting used to the move, you're right here. Okay, so you're gonna do that lateral and then hands together at heart center. Good. Couple more. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Put that weight down. All right. We're just going to get that heart rate up a little bit more with just some jumping jacks, some knee alternating, and then we're going to get right into the circuits. Okay. Let's jack it out. Low impact. You're right here. Higher impact, you're here. Nice and strong either way. Good. Get ready for those knee ups in four, three, two, here we go. Just skip it out. Now you don't have to do that little skip. You can stay right here. A little bit more low impact. From the side, you can see raising that arm. You're gonna feel the obliques. If you like that little jump, go ahead. Three, 
two and one hamstring curls. We're just gonna pull, pull it out. Getting that heel up, warming up those hamstrings a little bit more. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Grab a quick sip. I'm gonna grab my water whenever I need it. You'll always have a few seconds of rest in between. Okay, so the first pairing is going to be a side to side squat, curl press. So we squat, curl press. If you don't like that side to side, just keep your feet here, curl press. Okay, we want that weight in the heels, a little heavier with the weights. We are gonna repeat these. So I'm gonna start with 10s and then I may go to 12s, maybe 15s, <laughs> we'll see. All right, feet together. You have 45 seconds of this move, followed by a 30 second cardio move. I'll show that to you in a second. Here we go. Squat, I'm gonna just change that a bit. I'm gonna keep my hands here. Okay, so you don't wanna step out too wide. Right there, right there. It's a great move, works the whole body. You got some biceps, you got shoulders, you got legs. <sighs> so next time, you might wanna go a little heavier. If you have only one dumbbell, hold one dumbbell at your chest. You can do the same thing. You can do this with no weights. Again, getting used to the movement. I'll show you from the side. Push, come on. A few more seconds. Last one. Good, all right. Put those weights down. Your cardio move is going to complement it. We're gonna go side to side lunge with a jump. Here it is, low impact, right here. If you wanna jump, you're gonna add that jump, okay? Here we go, 30 seconds. Ready, we're gonna go out to this side first. Here, down, up, down, up. Now I'm using the arms. You can do any arms you want. You can do here. So you're squatting side to side, just like that strength move. Come on, come on, those arms up. A few more seconds here. Come on, work hard. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Break, you have 15 seconds here. We're gonna repeat those two moves. Quick sip. Last time we do these, and then we move on. So one weight or two, I'm gonna go to 12s this time. Ready? Here we go. Step out. Now, I have heavier weights. I may be going a little slower this time. Really wanna follow through. So I've made the cardio move complement the strength move. We have about six or seven pairings, I think. We'll see how it goes. I wanna to try to get you out of here with a great total body workout in about 35, 40 minutes with a warm up and cool down. So you wanna keep your back straight as you press up. You don't wanna lean back. Last one, put them down. Never see that one again. Maybe a variation of it. <laughs> All right, those line taps or side to side. I'm gonna go out this side first. 30 seconds, here we go. <sighs> Just jumping side to side. Now, if you have a weight in front of you, that's a nice focal point too. <sighs> Gives you something to shoot for. Come on. Remember, here's your low impact. You wanna make sure that weight's not too far out. So keep going. I would bring that weight a little closer if I was gonna use it. It's also a good marker. There's always one foot behind the weight. Four, three, two, one, break. Whew. All right, moving on. So we have a sumo with a bicep curl. I'm gonna vary it on the second one. Let me show you what it looks like while you're doing your recovery. 
We're going to be in a sumo, different squat, a little bit more inner thigh, glute, and quad. All right, we're going to pulse it the whole time for 45 seconds, and we're going to just go in and out. So you're right here. The elbows are close in. You want to make sure you're not here, but they're kind of in touch with that rib cage, okay? In and out. All right, are we ready? I'm going to do tens for this round. Let's get going. All right, let's start with the pulse. I'm going to get it going. Bring the arms up. Here we go. Now, I slow down the pulse because when you're adding weights, it's a little bit harder. Now, if you don't like moving, just hold your weight out to one, either in or out. Wrist is straight. Make sure you have a nice strong grip here, but not too tight. Whew. Whew. This heart rate goes up here. Come on. Whew. Come on, use that breath. You want to feel the weights. Whew. For four. Come on, a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Put it down. Whew. Yowza. All right. Drop squats. You're going to go in and out, okay? So I will vary this one to make it harder next time. So we're gonna start in, we go down, up, down, up. A Little bit more inner thigh, complementing what we just did. Arms up. You can also go side to side, all right? Different than what we did last time. 30 seconds, go. Now you can do it more here. There's a slight toe turnout. I'm gonna show you from the side. Low impact. You're just going side to side with that little turnout. So you have that difference from our last one. If you want more heart rate, arms down and up. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Little break, and we're gonna move on. All right, breathe. This time we do a hammer curl with an alternating with that sumo pulse. So let's bring it down. I'm gonna stick with my tens. Biceps, inner thigh, quads, here we go. So we're gonna pulse it, there we go. And this one is more alternating. You can also bring that palm up. Do what suits you. It's all good, you're still working the bicep. Oh, this one heats up fast. You can keep that hammer grip. Ooh, almost there, kind of. This one really raises the heart rate. 15 seconds, we're gonna make it. Sometimes when you have a few more seconds, you can really push it, speed it up. Breathe, four, three, two, one. So that one was a little more full range. Did you feel that? It, rather than just being here, we really got that down up. All right, this one, you can do what we did the last time with the drop squat. I'm gonna add a heel click. It's a little bit more cardio. It's only 30 seconds. Again, you can go side to side. Okay, heel click. All right, ready? 30 seconds. So we're gonna come down. I like arms down and up, alternating. Now, if you don't like the heel click, just bring your feet together. I'm gonna do from the side. My chest is up, hips are back. Toe turn out, inner thigh, just like we had in that sumo. I'm on almost there, five seconds. Two, and one. Woo. Walk it out. How are we doing? Time-wise, we're at the 19 minute mark. Make sure you're breathing. Woo. This is a tough one. Next one is legs. It's gonna be a deadlift to a squat. Okay, you can rack the weights on the squat 
or just hold them at your side. All right, I'm gonna hold them at my side. I'm going with 12s. Here we go. Moving on. Legs, feet apart. Here's your deadlift. Slight bend in the knee to a full squat. Go, 45 seconds. So the deadlift is a little slower than the squat. So when you do the deadlift, you wanna think of a hip hinge, kind of like what we did with that toe touch in the warm up, or a good morning. <sighs> Breathe, come on. <sighs> Breathe. These do get the heart rate up. If you're saying, Chris, my heart rate's up for these compound moves. Yes, it is. But the cardio moves only 30 seconds. <laughs> Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Put the weight down. All right, now I'm gonna get my lighter weights. It's gonna be a burpee. Stand up. If you don't like that, you're not gonna burpee. You're gonna put the weights down. And then stand up, okay? Picking up the weights with a bend in the knee. Otherwise, you're gonna be with me with a burpee to a pickup, okay? I may change it on the next one, but right now, feet are apart. So you're gonna squat down to get to the weights. Jump, in, stand, okay? That's it, that's your move, 30 seconds, ready? Go. Make sure your core is in tight when you come up. So we're complimenting the deadlift right here. Make sure you're not leaning back. Come on, a few more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Good job. Put them down, we're gonna repeat those two. Moving on. All right, so next one, same thing. Deadlift to squat. You can also do this with one weight, okay? Here we go. Deadlift, squat. Deadlift, and that squat. Slow your breathing down. Use your breath. Concentrate on the quality of your movement. Feel your heart. Use your breath. Come on, nice big squat. Feel the weight. You can also do this very easily without weights. You're still gonna feel it, especially if you're just starting out. We all started somewhere, right? Three, two, one. Nice job. Now, I'm gonna go with my heavier weights for that one. If you want, you can add a little jump at the top, but you have to be loaded in those legs. And when you jump with the dumbbells, you land in the dumbbells as well. You can't just land like this and then squat. That's a lot on your ankles, your knees, your hips. All right, burpee on dumbbells. Ready, 30 seconds, here we go. Here it is with the jump, but I'm landing back. Right back into that squat. Come on. Back into that plank. Core is tight. Here it is without the jump. Four, three, two, one. Take a break. Good job. Whew. All right. We're gonna come down to the mat for the next one. All right. Focusing on the chest and core, okay? For this one, we're gonna do a chest fly with a leg lower. It can be a bicycle leg lower. You can even just do the chest fly with your feet down. So we're gonna be right here, and I'm gonna lower one leg at a time, and I wanna make sure when I lower my leg that my spine is imprinted. All right, I'm gonna start out with my 10s. I may go to a 12. Usually a chest fly, a little lower than like say a chest press, which you can usually go a little heavier on. All right, 
Remember, you can have your feet down or your legs in tabletop. We have 45 seconds of this move. Are we ready? Legs up. I wanna make sure you can see me. I think you can. Here we go. Ready? Go, 45 seconds. You can even get it started with just the chest fly, opening and close, and keep those hands apart at the top. Just squeeze through the chest. <sighs> Slight bend in the elbow. And I'm gonna add my legs. My legs are gonna bicycle. You can also do the bicycle with bent knees right here, okay? Just ask yourself, every time one leg is extended, is my spine imprinted? Do I have that core connection? Come on, 10 seconds. Breathe, four, three, two, one. Bring it in, Whew. good job. All right, next one, we're gonna just do the bicycles, four straight leg, four bent knee, 30 seconds. This is your cardio move because it's a little quicker. Head, neck, and shoulders up. So we go four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. And you can even touch. Come on, 30 seconds. One, two, three. Head, neck, and shoulders up the whole time. Spine is imprinted. Come on. If you don't like the straight, just do the bicycle. Hands behind your head, just for a little support. Last one, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. How'd we do? We're gonna go back to the chest fly with the leg lower or the bicycle, whatever you wanna do. You can also do this in a bridge. If you're familiar with that, you can do that variation. All right, here we go. 45 seconds, nice, strong, straight legs, and begin. So there's a rhythm here. You don't wanna to go too fast. Even if you have light weights, and if you're just maybe starting with weights, go slow. You'll recruit more muscle fibers. It'll be a great way to get used to the movement. So I recommend in compound moves that you just start somewhere. Maybe just do the chest press, okay? And then maybe add the leg lower in later, okay? Breathe. Ooh, five seconds. Remember your leg doesn't have to go all the way down. You go where you can maintain that imprinted spine. Last one. And bring it in. Ooh. All right. We're gonna go right into that bicycle. 30 seconds, ready? Remember you can stick with one or the other. Ready, go. I'm just gonna stay here, because I like this one. And you just wanna make sure that you can keep your head, neck, and shoulders up. You can also do this here, with your hands behind your head, or maybe one hand reaching to the outside. It's a great variation where you keep the hands behind the head. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Come on up. We're gonna move into a little bit more shoulders. We're almost there, guys. So the next one we have is a curtsy to a lateral raise, okay? So you only need, you can either just do light weights here, or you can do heavier weights and bend, um, bend. Since we are repeating it, you can just use one weight. So you can go curtsy and then just one, or you can do curtsy to two, okay? I'm gonna do two weights. I'm gonna keep my tens. We're gonna do, since this is, um, let's do 30 seconds each side and we will not repeat this one, okay? We'll do 30 seconds. So if you wanna grab those heavier weights, I'm looking at the time, I wanna get you guys out of here. I wanna maximize our time and our effort. Okay, so we're gonna do, we'll do an alternating, okay? Sorry, I just changed that on the fly. So we're gonna curtsy and raise, okay? I'm just gonna do one at a time. You can still, 
do a curtsy and just that opposite arm and then curtsy and opposite arm. Let's do 45 seconds. I am sorry, I changed that three times on you. But we're gonna alternate. And we are not repeating this one. Breathe. A lot of shoulders today. Come on. 15 seconds. Since we're not repeating it, the cardio move is gonna be 45 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Put them down. The cardio move is a fun one. You have options here. So we're gonna do lateral lunge. So you're gonna go lateral, rear together, lateral, rear together. The same leg goes back and to the side, or you can go lateral lunge, rear lunge, jump switch. Okay, it's gonna be 45 seconds. Chest is up, game face is on. 45 seconds, this is a fun one. Lateral, rear, switch. Again, you don't have to jump it. If you're jumping, you're lifting both feet up. Otherwise, you're right here, okay? You go back and then switch. Side, back, switch. Go, come on. Make sure you land with the back heel up, the front heel down. I like my arms at my chest. Come on. Doesn't have to be too deep. Come on. Four, three, two, and let's finish one more. One. Nice job. Woo. Good job. All right. How are we doing? All right. Next one, we're pairing on a little bit more shoulder. So we're going to go row, rear delt fly. Okay. So it's going to be one row one rear delt fly, okay? 45 seconds, again, we are not repeating this one. All right, we ready? Because our cardio move has both of those moves in it. So I'm gonna go a little lighter here because the rear delt fly is the harder of the two. And we're doing one and one. Hip hinge, if you need to, you can always go with a staggered stance and hinge forward. That takes the pressure off the low back. Ready? Here we go, we're in that home stretch. Row, rear delt fly. I am gonna show you from the side because you don't wanna be up here, okay? You wanna really have those elbows back, so pull back. Think about, keep going, keep going with this. Think about if my hand was right between your shoulder blades and you're trying to close me in. You wanna think about that, squeezing the shoulder blades, squeezing the shoulder blades, not arching the back, but actively squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep going, you have 15 seconds. Also keep the weights apart at the bottom. Pull and lift. Last one and lift. Good job, put those weights down. The next one is going to be a renegade row. So you're gonna be in a plank, this is a lot of core. You're gonna jump it in two rear delt flies, okay? So for this one, you don't have to jump it in. And if you don't like that plank position, all you're gonna do is repeat what we just did. Maybe two rows and two rear delt flies, okay? So you can just repeat, or you can do single row, single fly, okay? All right, I'm gonna keep my tens. Actually, I'm gonna take my, yeah, I'm gonna keep my tens. All right, come on down to a plank. Now you can also do the renegade row on your knees, okay? Just make sure that your hips are down and they're not up here. Okay, I'll show that variation and then I'm gonna go to the plank to jump in for my two standing rear delt flies, okay? This one is also 45 seconds because we are not repeating it, okay? It's a pairing with the exercise we did before. All right, so here it is modified. We go row, row, I'm gonna go to my plank jump it in, stand up, fly, fly, bend my knees. Here it is again. 
Go, 45 seconds, come on. Go to your plank, bring it in. Nice, strong deadlift as you come up there. So we row and we row and we come in, stand with that hinge. Pull those elbows back. So you really wanna make sure you're careful when you come up out of that. So you can alternate which arm comes up first. Come up here, fly, fly. Let's do one more. You don't get too many reps in here, but you get enough to feel it, especially in that core. Last one, put them down. Ooh. Last, last two things. We are going down to the floor. We're gonna work the triceps. So we have a tricep skull crusher. This one, we are gonna be in that bridge. Let me show you. So your hips are gonna be elevated. Your arms are straight. Your wrist is over your elbow. Your elbow is over the shoulder. We're not here, okay? And we're not going to the side. We come down and up. If you're not sure, just do this without weights or light, just take light weights. You can also do this with holding on to the head of one dumbbell, okay? So you have lots of options. I'm gonna take my tens. So this is also great for the glutes. All right, we ready? 45 seconds. All right, breathe. Then we do have, we are gonna repeat this one. All right, hips are up. Here we go, everything down, everything up. So the nice thing about this one is you have a clear line of vision here. You can use your eyes to see, are my elbows staying up over my shoulder blades, okay? You have a nice strong grip here. Your wrists are straight. Think about how these weights feel. If they're too heavy, then maybe just use one weight next time or come up now and switch. Remember, we're targeting the back of the arm. The next move is a fun one. It's a 30 second kick back to a burpee. I love this one. I'll show you options for it. Feeling those triceps, big time, last one. And then bring your weights together, bring them safely at the chest and come up. So this next move is gonna be a burpee with a tricep kickback. So you're gonna stay nice and low. Your kickback is here, and then you put the weights down. So it's almost like a little row to a kickback. If you don't like it, you could just do alternating kickbacks, okay? Keep keeping the elbows back, alternate your kickback, okay? From the front, just make sure you're not here, okay? So this one's a quick one, it's only 30 seconds, all right? So you're gonna be in that hinge position, and I'm gonna have you start here, because this is where you're gonna be starting. Your weight is in the heels. Again, if you don't like it, if it's too much pressure on your back, just do the kickback, okay? All right, ready, go. Kick it back, burpee. Kick it back, burpee, 30 seconds. I like to think of my back as straight right there. So you hinge at the hip. Abs are tight, kick back. Burpee. Keep your wrist straight. Don't let your wrist flick. Really use your tricep to extend that arm. Last one. Finish with the burpee. Come in. Back down. All right. We're going to go right into that um, skull crusher. Now, if you want, I'll show you with one weight. I'm going to get a heavier weight. Breathe. You can also do this without the bridge, but it's a great way to get glutes and core. We're gonna come up. Come on, last two, this is it. And we cool down. Arms up, hips up. Ready, here we go. 45 seconds. Noticing when you have that grip around the head of the dumbbell, it also allows you to keep an eye and make sure those arms are parallel Wrists over shoulder, elbow over shoulder. Oop, keep going. 
Siri picked up something. Did you hear that? <sighs> Come on. You can also hold your bridge, okay? <sighs> Just make sure you're not holding tension in the shoulders. <sighs> Come on. That weight goes down to the top of the head. Squeeze through the glutes and abs. Three, two, one. Bring it in. Last round, kick back. It's actually a row to a kick back. So remember, if you want, you can also do a row to kick back standing or just do your alternating. Either way, you're gonna feel those triceps. Let's do it, last one, and then we cool down. We may have a little bonus finisher, but we'll see. We'll see how we go on time. All right, come on down. Press into those heels. You wouldn't wanna do this fresh out of the gate because you would not be warmed up enough to get this position. So it's a great one to do when you're nice and warm. Ready? 30 seconds, eyes forward, go. Kick back. So it is a quick kick back, but it's very controlled. Come on. I like my feet a little closer together here. Feel a little back, a little rear delt. Come on. You did it. Come on. Come on. You want that bonus move, I know it. Four, three, two, one. Whew. Quick sip. Do you want a bonus move? All right, bonus move. Four mountain climbers, in and up. Core, cardio, chest, shoulders back. It's awesome. All right, I am going to do this one on my dumbbells. I'm just gonna show you, if you are a type of person who doesn't like to put your hands down or you don't have a bench available, hands on dumbbells is great. So, I do also see people with the fist. As long as you're comfortable with it, you can have fists down, hands down, fingers gripping. But again, weights are great. Since we have them, let's use them. All right. Four mountain climbers, 45 seconds. This is it, we cool it down. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be back in a plank. Four, three, two, one. Jump in, jump up, hands go back down, okay? That's your move, 45 seconds. We got this, great way to finish. And then we stretch for two minutes and we will get out of here. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Jump in, jump up. Now, lots of variations here. You can also do a quarter twist. You can do a cross mountain climber. You can do a jumping jack, I'll show you. You can do really anything you want. Just keep your hands under the shoulders. You don't have to jump there. Come on, almost there. Remember what I said about jumping? If you're gonna jump, you jump into your squat, not here and then squat. You wanna really descend into it. 10 seconds, come on. You can also just do the mountain climber if you don't wanna do the burpee. Four, three, two, one. Good job. You did it. You're done. Put your weights to the side. It's time to stretch. Grab a sweat towel, I'm proud of you. You did great. I have 41 minutes, give or take. We're gonna stretch. Ah, feet apart, deep breath, exhale, inhale. Keep that body moving. You can also, if you're not ready to stay in one place, this is fine, you can do a shoulder roll. You can bring one arm up. Really, just listen to your body. <sighs> you're, maybe you're not ready to stretch. Maybe you need to walk around a little bit. That's okay too. Do it, come back. We wanna stretch out everything we worked. All right, deep breath, exhale. Good job, one more. And exhale, let's take a standing calf stretch. Now, if you don't like this variation, if you feel recovered enough, go down to the mat and do your calf stretch that, or 
uh, hip runner stretch we did in the beginning. So we're either gonna be here with our hands behind, pressing that back heel down. Again, you wanna stretch the back half, the front knee is bent. <sighs> Again, your option is here with a rotation. Okay, push through that back heel. And then for your hamstring stretch, we're gonna stay here or if you're standing, drag the back leg in, you're right here, head above your heart. Again, perfectly fine here. You can add that little toe pull in if you wanna increase the stretch and the mobility through the ankle, right here or here. Again, if you're not, stre if you're not cooled down enough and you don't want your head down here, you have options. <sighs> Both legs are straight, chest to thigh. Come on around, roll it up. Big shoulder roll, let's take a little body roll here, down and up. Big shoulders, one more time. A little cat and cow. <sighs> Flip around to the other side. Now you may wanna start here, okay? Taking that chest stretch again. It's such a good stretch. If you don't have time to stretch out anything, do this stretch, it gets the, the front of the shoulder, it gets the chest, and your shoulders are down. It's a great one to open everything up. Again, you can be here. Right here is fine. Keeping that back leg straight. And then your hamstring stretch can either be here with your chest going down or right here, stretching out the front hamstring. You can reach for that toe or not. Lower the toe, roll it up. Big deep breath, good. Let's just stretch out the tricep, feet apart. Reach the arms up, press one elbow in and down. So from the back, I'm pressing this elbow down so that maybe my fingers can touch in the back. You can take it to the side. So know the purpose of this hand. A lot of people just put it there. You gotta really press it. Try to keep your head up. Other side. So maybe just tap that shoulder. And already I am feeling the stretch right here in the tricep. So if you wanna to add to it, cup that elbow, bring it in and down. Excellent job. Hope you enjoyed today's workout. Total body, got it in. If you don't have time to do this whole workout, maybe you take all the intervals and just do them one time through. That'll save you a little time. Let's open and close the chest. Big hug, sweaty hug, open, close, open, close. One more time, open, close, take a big deep breath up. Exhale all the way down or halfway, okay, here or all the way down. Just let everything go. Take in all the benefits of your workout. <sighs> Bend the knees, slowly roll it up. Last thing to come up is your head. Big shoulder roll, big deep breath up. Exhale, hands into your heart, and give yourself a big hand. Excellent job. I hope to see you again soon.